everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Cut Build. My name is Mark Humphreys and in this week's episode we decided to follow up on our original idea once we constructed the shoe rack to build a bench so that our customers could use it to put on their steel show shoe covers when they come to visit our facility. So the concept of the bench was a little more abstract and a little artistic because we wanted to paint it multiple colors, all the colors of the Lincoln Electric color scheme, red, black, and white. So to do that, we decided to bolt on these uh, kind of artistic highlights. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this came from. It kind of was just a concept that I sketched out on a piece of paper for the sides. And then I didn't really want to do the exact same thing on the middle because then you'd have like something inhibiting your feet underneath. So that's why you can see in the construction of the bench that we decided to make it a triangle. And that kind of presented some challenges as far as the stability of the bench goes, but it ended up working out. And then we added these seat cushions and overall it's pretty comfortable. So let's go to more of the build process as it started. The majority of the bench is made up of 316's hot rolled mild steel. We cut out the design file at 40 amps, running about 50 inches per minute. This produced a great cut quality that made preparing the parts for welding very easy. Operating at 40 amps also gave us a smaller kerf width so that we can tightly nest all of the parts together. We designed the center supports with a square slot so that we could easily place some 2x2 square tubing between them to help add stability to the bench. We used magnets and a speed square to tack the tubing into place and then used the PowerMank 256 to fully weld them in. Once the center supports were completed, we could lean it up against the pole and start assembling the rest of the bench. Before we welded the side supports onto the bench, we bolted all of the interior pieces together. This was a precaution to ensure that there wasn't going to be any slag from the welding process dropping into the bolt holes that would prevent the bolts from dropping right in. We had one last piece that we weren't able to fit into our original nest of parts, so we threw another piece of metal down and got to cutting. The cushions are very easy to make. We just stapled some cloth and foam to some plywood and drilled them into the holes of the bench that we programmed into the cut file. And then it was all done. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Design Cut Build. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let us know about it in the comments section below. To watch last week's video, click here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button here. And as always, you can find this build project and many others on fabricationforum.com under the DIY section. We'll see you next time.